Welcome to the beautiful city of Bergen. Reindeer. We are at the Myrdal train station at the top of the valley where we came in on and uh, we're waiting for our train to take us to Bergen. So long, Flom. You were very, very good to us. Uh, Bergen, tall order for you to compete. <laughs> Oh, here comes the train. Comes train. Hi, we're Ruben and Rebecca, and we specialize in quick trips on a budget. Join us on our third and final stop on our trip to Norway in the city of Bergen. The last stop on the railway is the Bergen station and it's a really cool train station. Very modern and covered because Bergen gets a lot of rain. We're about 10 minutes away from the action. Airbnb for its location. It was right across the street from the funicular and about two blocks from the waterfront. After settling in, our first stop was to the Floibanen Funicular, which is one of Norway's best known and most visited attractions. It's an eight minute journey up the hill. Wheelchairs, strollers, and pets are all welcome to make the climb. Welcome to the beautiful city of Bergen. They say this is the city of rain. I don't see any rain. <laughs> if you're interested in staying at the top of the hill, you can rent this yurt. Or rent whatever this beehive thing is. phone booth turned into a bookshare. And here is the iconic district of Brigham. This district is over 1,000 years old and it was originally founded as a trade center for stockfish, which is a type of dried fish that was transported south. Originally, this was the capital of Norway. Across the street from Briggen is the fish market, and if you're in the mood for seafood, this is your place. and shrimp, seafood paella. Yeah. Let's dig in.
Riggin is included in UNESCO's World Heritage List. Dill of Norway is Norway's iconic shop for high-end wool sweaters. It's 10 o'clock at night and it's time to go to bed. Good thing we have blackout curtains. House Fortress, which was built in, oh, how about 1240. It was a fortress, a royal residence, a cathedral, a church, a bishop's residence, had lots of purposes and it's been around a long time. Rhododendrons. A number of fires have ravaged Brigham throughout the history. The Great Fire of 1702 left the area in ashes, but when the buildings were rebuilt, their original architecture was carefully restored, which means it looks the same as it did in the 12th century. In a sponge. <laughs> what do you think? It honestly doesn't have much flavor. It almost Chew it feels for a while, like, um, you know, those packing peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> the consistency. <laughs> it's not very fishy at all. It's a little salty. Yeah, it's not bad. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't pay for it. <laughs>
taking a ferry from Bergen is a great budget option over taking a fjord tour that most tourists take. Just, uh, just the three of us getting off here. <laughs> okay. And there it goes. Okay, I'm gonna give this a try. Sage or honey? I don't know. <sighs> the Norwegians are all laughing. Right? Yeah, and I'm not rolling my R's properly like a, somebody from Bergen. Uh, but we're here on this island, and there's probably about uh, 10 people on this <laughs> island. Most of them are here in this restaurant. It is just so beautiful. Took us about, what is it, like an hour and a half maybe to yeah. get here? Yeah. By ferry, and we, we have an hour to uh, explore, have a little bite to eat. We get a, a free waffle <laughs> with our ticket on the ferry. And uh, Ferry will come get us uh, southbound and take us back to Bergen. I would say that this is a perfect place for the sunset, but you know, the sun doesn't set. Hanging out on Skechter Ham feels like you've gone back in time to like the 1640s. You're greeted by the statue of King Olav V, and then you're in for a quiet, relaxing, get away. ferry, if you stop here in, insert name here, you get a free waffle. Well, this is our last day in Norway. <laughs> and it's, yeah, it's kind of sad to leave. We just scratched the surface because it's a huge country and there's so much to see. And we got to see three really cool spots, but there's, there's a need to, to come back. And, and see more. I'm as happy as I can be right now, an island to ourselves, sort of. Farewell from Norway. Not bad, Norway. Unfortunately, we got to the church a bit late and it was closed for visitors on the inside. However, the outside was spectacular. Even though this stave church is a reconstruction, you can clearly see the intersection of the Viking era along with Christianity. Mm -hmm. 
Last seafood dish. Good luck. Hiya. It's 11 o'clock at night. <laughs> Like and subscribe for more quick trips.